fans, it's me, Scara Damsel of the Doomed. I'm out here in Bastrop, Texas at the Texas Gas Station for the Home of Horror Show with Lyndon Porco. Nice to meet you. Nice to meet you as well. Now, Lyndon has been in two major horror franchises, uh, notably the uh, Leprechaun franchise and also the Child's Play franchise. Um, tell us about, uh, which one did you film first? Uh, so I actually filmed uh, the, the Cult of Chucky first. Cult of Chucky. Yeah, so that was uh, that was filmed back actually in my uh, my hometown of Winnipeg, uh, Canada. Oh. And so uh, it was kind of crazy because I ended up just moving away to, to Vancouver and then I ended up coming back. Um, and first job I got was uh, was with Cult of Chucky and you know it was it was awesome. What was your first job ever in in film? In film, so it was actually a. Uh, I did a, uh, a short little piece. Um, it was an episode, uh, The Wonderful World of Disney, I think, back in the oh, day. Oh, yeah. Um, and I was a little kid sitting on Santa's lap telling him what I wanted for Christmas. So, oh, my gosh. Do you yeah. remember what you had to say for no. Christmas, what you wanted? What did I, what did I say I wanted? <laughs> uh, something about uh, lots of sugar, bro. What, what would you ask for now? What would I ask for now? <laughs> I don't even know. Jeez <laughs> uh, Louise, what would I ask for? I don't know if I, if I would need anything. I kind of just... Just buy it. The there you go. Yeah. Like, that's kind of the way I, I do <laughs> You don't have to ask any, any fat man with a white beard yeah, or nothing these no, days. No, not, not anymore. <laughs> so in the Leprechaun, uh, tell us about the makeup process. Yeah, no. So the le Leprechaun, the first day we did it was actually, uh, it was the, they said it was the screen test, but then we actually shot the trailer that same day, and uh, it took about seven hours to uh, to put the makeup on. Wow. Yeah, and then we got it down to about uh, three hours every day, which was uh, a little better, obviously, with a couple of breaks in between. But uh, is it a silicone mask? So we actually did uh, we did foam. We did, uh -huh. we did a foam for that one, which uh -huh. was which was great. Uh, I've done uh, silicone. I've done the foam. I definitely do prefer the foam nowadays. I'm a little bit more uh, breathable, uh -huh. uh, but. Uh, it's a little bit more delicate, I guess you could say, when, when you're taking it off, you, you're trying to save any, any pieces of it, but... Uh, As to not rip it. Yeah, yeah, exactly. When you're in the mask and you have to show expression, do you, how, how do you make that come across? Um, I, for me, it's basically just trusting in, in the character uh -huh. and, and trying to, uh, you know, as far as being big, yeah, I think you need to be a little bit bigger with prosthetics, mm -hmm. uh, just in the, for the fact of because they are on your face and they're a little bit thicker it, it doesn't your reactions don't necessarily show as much if you're doing a slight uh you know reaction or, or, or whatnot but um so you can't have like a little little grin you have to like well no you can you can have a little bit of a grin i think it, it, it all depends on you know how, how it's kind of applied uh -huh. uh, and i had some unbelievable people applying it on me so it, it really just kind of conformed to my face and it was, uh, I could kind of do kind of whatever I wanted, which was, which was awesome. And you had gloves too. I had the gloves, but those were silicone. Uh -huh. uh, so uh, those were uh, a little hilarious trying to get on and off. Uh, every time we were, we were doing the takes, cause they were just, they were, my hands would get all sweaty. Oh gosh. Whatnot, when so. you pull them off, it's just. Oh yeah, yeah. They, they do the baby powder in the, uh -huh. in the gloves in order to put them on, but. Uh, uh, did you get to keep any of the wardrobe at all? I didn't get to keep any of the wardrobe. I'm a little bummed out about I it. I know, uh, it's a really cool outfit actually. Yeah, it was, there was a lot of pieces to it. There uh -huh. was, uh, I think there was an undershirt, uh, a vest, uh, a jacket, and then, uh, the, the kind of overalls slash pants, shorts, then the socks, the shoes, and the hats. Like it was, it was amazing. It was crazy. So you said when you showed up for that first day, you thought you were just shooting a screen test. Yeah, yeah. And thought. then they sprung it on you, like, oh, by the way. Well, no, I wouldn't say sprung per se, but I would say <laughs> no, I was, I was just, I was, uh, you know, they had me. They gave me a little bit of a sheet of said, hey, you know, we're going to do a screen test, say, say some of these things. And then once we got there, I realized, oh, like, this is actually, we're shooting something. Uh -huh. um, and then uh, whether that was just the screen test and then they, they decided to shoot you, the trailer. They liked you. It, it, that's, was, it was great. Yeah. That's a pretty good compliment, actually. Yeah, thank you. And then for Cult of Chucky, yeah. I'm jealous. <laughs> that first of all you're in it but I'm jealous you got to work with Jennifer Tilly 
I didn't unfortunately get to work with Jennifer Tilly that day. Oh. Um, it was uh, one of the days where they were actually in the cult of Chucky when they were stopping Chucky's face in, so I did get to see that. Oh. They had, I think, like three three dolls that they, they had, and um, I got to see it a couple of times, wow. and that was pretty awesome. That would have been really cool on set. Lots of fake, did they have fake blood? or? Yeah, they... it was actually like in the actual like casing Inside? in the head. It was Ugh. amazing. It was so cool to see. Uh, what about on the Leprechaun? Any cool special effects you got to witness? All of them, all of them, really. Like the first day, like the first day of actually shooting the movie was when uh, I was coming out of uh, Ozzy Mark Holton's stomach, <laughs> and so that was it. Was like, all right, we're doing this. We're getting right into the nitty gritty right here. So uh, that was that was awesome. I, you know, it was it prepared myself for what the shoot was going to be. Yeah, and it was it was an absolute blast. So you are, you know, you have a career that goes outside of horror, um, but are you a horror fan? So back in the day, I was, my friends would always kind of, you know, push at me and make fun of me a little bit for, uh, for not liking horror in mm -hmm. the sense that I was just scared shitless of it. <laughs> so uh, I would go to the movie theaters and I remember going to this Ouija uh, movie and they're like, Lennon, come on, like, we just come, it's not going to be bad, it's not scary, it's fine. Well, I was sitting there, and then when they had the, the they were cutting the uh, mouth, when the mouth was sewn shut, they were cutting it open, and I was like, nope, can't do this, <laughs> pull, pull over the hood. Yeah. That's what hoodies are for, I Ex suppose. Exactly, <laughs> exactly. Um, so, do you celebrate Halloween? I do, I love Halloween. What do you think is going to be the big Halloween costume this year, I wonder? Oh my gosh, that's a really good question. You know, I have some ideas. I, I don't even know where to begin to think about that. I think huh. what did you see uh, Stranger Things? Yeah, yeah. What's the um, Eddie or is, what's his name? The character Eddie, Eddie, uh, Eddie Munson. I think he might be one. Eddie Munson, yeah. Have you ever seen anyone at Halloween dressed up like uh, Chucky? Oh yeah, yeah. Tons of people all yeah. the time. Yeah, it's crazy. it's a big it's hit. Awesome. Yeah. There's I went to a horror convention this year and there was a sexy Chucky walking around. Oh it yeah, it was a girl. It was so cute. <laughs> have you awesome. seen that yet? I I think I might have seen it once or twice. I think so. Yeah. Yeah, um, you know, what was that one, what was that one movie came out a few years ago, was with the girl in the flower dress, does anyone in the audience know? Midsommar. Midsommar. She, that actress, she um, actually dressed up, like went to the Spirit Halloween or something, and she dressed up as her character from the movie. No way. Have you ever thought of doing, I think that would be hilarious if you got like the cheap version yeah yeah, you know? yeah yeah no I, I mean I haven't thought about it but that's a really cool idea that would just you know prank your friends speaking yeah. of your friends like you know them giving you a hard time for <laughs> being scared of horror movies and yeah. now you're witnessing Chucky get his face back <laughs> well, I think you win yeah exactly <laughs> that's exactly exactly I think I had every right to be scared of that what was your <laughs> you do actually what um what was your favorite project that you worked on so far? And it doesn't have to be horror. Um, yeah, I think I think what I mean every project is unique in its own way. Uh -huh. But uh, back in the day when I filmed uh, Little Man with the Wayne Brothers, I was about you know nine years old at the time, and so that was something that you know kind of truly changed my life. Uh -huh. um, and I actually owe that all to. Uh, Von Troyer because oh. I met him at the uh, the World of Wheels back in the day. Uh, my family wanted to introduce us together, and then um, he has the same type. He had the same type of dwarfism as me, mm -hmm. um, and so yeah. I mean, one thing led to another. He's like, "What are you interested?" in? And I said, "Well, acting's always been something." He's like, "Well, I'll get my manager to reach out, that kind of thing." And then it kind of they said, "Hey, they want you to send a tape down." And I was like, "Okay, yeah, sounds good." We're just playing sports, that kind of stuff. Nothing like really acting, kind of wise. And then, you know, a month, two months later, I you get a call saying, "Hey, they loved you. They want to fly you down for a screen test to LA." And I was like, "Oh, okay, sweet, sounds good." That's amazing. And, uh, yeah, ever since then, I've just fell in love with with acting and kind of the whole atmosphere about set and and whatnot. Um, yeah, it, it, it was, it, and they treated me like family, too, which was the, you know, kind of the, the crazy thing, you know, the, the Wayne brothers are, are, are so big. And Huge, they, right. Exactly, and, they, and then they treat a little guy from, you know, Winnipeg, Manitoba to, you know, like, like one of their own, and that's, that was awesome. That's really nice to hear. Yeah. That's great. Um, it's interesting, because you, you mentioned how old you were, you know, at that time. You're a rather young man still. I am, yeah. So, and when... 
both of these franchises came out, Leprechaun and and uh, Child's Play, was before you were even born. Yeah, that's it. That's yeah. and who was it that played um, the Leprechaun before you? Warwick Davis. For almost in all of them, right? Yeah, yeah. So he you was, had some uh, some shoes to fill or exactly. some boots. I don't know what they were. Exactly. Yeah, yeah. No, they were shoes. They were shoes. <laughs> um, yeah, no, absolutely. That was definitely something that you know was definitely. I didn't try and think about it too much when right. I was auditioning for it, as well as you know once I got the part. I, I think that uh, I tried to create a, it a little bit of, of, you know, my own kind of spin, uh, but as well as, you know, tr being true to the character of who the Leprechaun mm. originally was. Um, and so, yeah, I just, I just, I had a lot of fun with it. It was, it was, it was a lot of work, don't get me wrong, but it was at the end of the day, looking back at it, the, the process of everything and how it all kind of turned out was just, uh, it was, it was a lot of fun. To prepare, did you watch the previous um, Leprechaun films I, at all? I did, I did. I actually watched the uh, the first uh, Leprechaun film. Um, it was actually, interesting enough, it was about a week before we started filming. I wanted to make sure I was on the same page. Uh. I wanted to make sure I had kind of the... the the idea of exactly what the you know the sequel to um, the original film would, would look like compared to the original film. Smart. Um, and so uh, you know watching that definitely helped and, and opened my mind to uh, a lot of you know interesting things that I can implement into uh, into the new one. Leprechaun's such a funny franchise, isn't it? Didn't the first one have um, Jennifer Aniston in it? Yeah, I think so. Yeah. Before yeah. the nose job. <laughs> yes, yes. She is beautiful either way, if exactly, you ask me, yeah. honestly. Absolutely. So what's next for you? Uh, I got another project that um, is coming up. Uh, I can't necessarily say exactly what it is right now. Uh, but uh, I'm working with a production company as well. Um, we're working on, on a few things with, with, with that. Uh, the project is called Exalted, and I, I would say that it is a mix between uh, kind of Blade Runner and, and Saw. Oh. Um, and so, if you know, once we get this thing rolling, and, and you know, it, it, when it when it gets out there, I think it could be you know a massive franchise as well. So, uh, I, it's all fingers are, are pointed in that direction, and now it's just about kind of getting that that extra bit of funding and and. Uh, well, that sounds yeah. actually pretty interesting. I hope we get to see you again soon, maybe at the Cult Classic Convention in the future. I'd love that. Or maybe you'll come back to the gas station, enjoy Absolutely. some barbecue. Absolutely. It's a great place. Absolutely delicious. Well, we appreciate you sitting and talking with us, and um, we'll see you around. Thank you. Thank, thank you for you. having me. And thank you guys for watching. Thank you all back there. Bye.